Keandra and I'm back with another video. Today I did a get ready with me for church. So I'm about to leave. This is my dress. I have heels in the car. Um, yeah, so I in this video I showed you how I slayed this wig. This is the wig that I just made. And then I also showed you how I did my makeup for today. So if you want to see how I got this look for church, then keep watching. Bye guys. Alright guys, so I just got the shower, just put on my dress for church, and this is my wig. I'm getting off my mannequin. I already pre-curled it last night and put flexi rods in it so that I can save time. Um, now I'm just taking off my bonnet, and then those pieces in the front are like my leave out, basically, or like my edges, I guess. Um, and they're already been straightened, and I just pin them down at night so I don't have to re-straighten them in the morning. As you can see, I put two wig clips around my closure closure that helps it lay flatter. That way I don't have to use like glue or tape or anything. So if y'all like a tutorial on how I lay my closures flatter, then let me know down below. And I just position it where I want my part to be and then I clip them down. And I got this idea because if you look at like a lot of wig reviews, like companies do that anyway. But I don't understand like why a lot of people don't do that. But the whole got to be glue method and stuff that got old to me and I just don't use that anymore. So um, now I'm just taking out the flexi rods. And yeah, there's no particular like size curl I wanted. I just... I have a lot of flexi rods, especially if you get hair from AliExpress. Like, they always send you flexi rods. So, I just, I have a whole, like, box full of them. So, I just put them in there last night just so I can get some type of wave or curl. I actually like the hair better once the curls fall. So, I probably won't curl my hair or this wig, like, the rest of the week. Because I'm just going to let it fall. I may do touch-ups here and now, but that's one good thing about flexi rods. Like... It's um, a heatless way to curl your hair. And I never wear middle parts just because they just don't look right on me. But today I thought I'd take a chance, I guess. Um, so now I'm taking some argan oil and I'm going to put it through the hair just to bring some moisture back to the ends. Because it does kind of get dry sometimes. And then I'm just going to finger comb out the curls and then I'm gonna work on those two bang pieces like I had like the most trouble with those just cuz it just I don't know it didn't look right to me like at all um, so I'm probably gonna go in with my flat iron and try to fix those And this is like three bundles. I think the longest bundle is like either 16 or 18. I really don't remember. This is like some really short hair for me because normally I'm used to getting like 22 inches. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm just trying to work on my part. I'm going to take some edge Murray's Edge Wax and work on my edges and get those laid down. I have this real bad habit of pulling all my hair to the front. And I do that so I can make sure the curls are right. But, like, when I'm out and about, all my hair isn't really to the front. And I don't know why I do that, like, when I take pictures or when I make videos. But it looks a mess. But just know I don't really go out in real life with all my hair pulled to the front like that. But I'm just taking my toothbrush and I'm laying those baby hairs down. And these are my baby hairs, not the one from the wig. The wig doesn't have any baby hairs. So now I'm taking this eyeshadow from my Nubian Juvia's Place palette. And I'm just going to put that on the part. Now this is a silk-based closure, so it's already supposed to look like scalp anyways. But it's so thick. It's like so hard to make, make look natural. But this is good enough for me. All right, so next, this is the makeup portion of it. I'm just using my LA Girl um, Smoothing HD Primer that I got from my local beauty supply store. Um, next, I am taking the Maybelline Matte Mousse Foundation, and I'm going to put that all over my face.
Okay, next I'm going to... No, did I do my eyebrows or did I do... I think that's what I did. I think I'm doing my eyebrows next, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I am taking the e.l.f. Um, cream liner in like dark brown, and I'm doing my eyebrows with that. Normally, I use a pencil, but today I just wanted to go for like a softer look, I guess. And my eyebrows are thin, and I tried to make them thicker, but that never really works. So, just working with what I have. Next, I'm going to take my concealer by LA Girl and Fawn, and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, um, down in the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin, and then I'm going to clean up under my brows with it as well. Next, I'm going to take my small stippling brush by e.l.f., and I'm just going to blend that in. And that's the same brush I use with my foundation. And I do that um, just so my highlight isn't too hot, not too high, isn't too um, bright, but yeah. Then I'm going to take a um, Wet n Wild brush and blend that concealer underneath my eyebrows as well down, down the bridge of my nose and my chin and all the other small areas. Next, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm using a beauty blender, and I'm going to set that underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and everywhere I put the concealer at. Next, I'm going to take that brown in my Nubian Juvia's Place palette and use that to contour. And it's similar to the um, Ebony Bronzer and CoverGirl. Like, that's the brown it gives off, like a reddish brown. And then I'm going to contour my nose as well. Then I'm going to dust away the excess powder with my e.l.f. brush. I use that brush for a lot of things. I really don't know what the name of that brush is. Then I'm going to take my concealer and chestnut, which is more closer to my skin tone, and then clean up the top of my brows. Next, I'm going back into that Juvia's Place palette. I'm taking that same brown I contoured with and putting it on my lids just to add a little bit of color, nothing too special. And then I'm going to take the goat that's off in there and put that in my tear duct. And then also um, I'm going to highlight under my brow with it as well. Then I'm going to go back with that other Wet n Wild brush and just blend all of that out. Then I'm going to, oh, I just whipped out the fallout from that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to get my liquid liner and do a small wing. Then I'm going to take my, um, my Rimmel mascara and put that on my eyelashes. And I don't really wear lashes. I always see YouTubers like wear lashes, but I don't wear lashes every day, and I'm not going to start doing it. I used to get individuals done, and then those used to rip out my eyelashes. Well, I ripped them out when I was asleep, and I didn't realize that's how I woke up the next morning and didn't have eyelashes. But, yeah, so I'm just in the process of growing those back. <laughs> And then next, I'm going to highlight with this e.l.f. bronzer and Sunkissed. Then I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. setting spray. And one thing about this spray, it makes like my, not my mascara, but like my eyeliner run like no other. Like, I don't know. Maybe I should get a new liner, I guess. Next, I'm going to take this burgundy um, lipstick from Milani and outline my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my matte red lipstick in Ruby Woo on the inside. And that pretty much completes this look. I want to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe.